Here's the computer from my parts car. Same computer that's supposed to be with my car. So I'm going to check this out. I took four screws out. I'm also working on a steel table here. Uh, don't want to get any static charges built up. Open this up. There we go. I see one problem right away. There's some signs of burning in here and this capacitor that capacitor is bad I don't know how well you can see anyway and it has a hole in the side right there but one thing I noticed was that that is a Nichicom capacitor according to FixKick these uh, originally came with Rubicon capacitors so I suspect that this capacitor has already been replaced and it should be a good capacitor but obviously it's blown again right now I just have a little bit of isopropyl on the end of a q-tip and I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit I want to also look for any problems while I'm cleaning it so you can see I went through a few q-tips here and a couple of pipe cleaners but uh, I think I've got it cleaned up pretty good I've looked really careful uh, this capacitor right here that blue one looks like the paint scraped off the side but otherwise it looks okay uh, C101 and it looks like it's in good shape and this other little one over here looks okay so I see on this some kind of resistor right down there that one that looks like a yellow ball on with a wire on each end looks a little bit burnt but I'm not sure about that this one's bad for sure so I'm going to replace that one. I'm going to take out this uh, circuit board now. Make sure that I'm always uh, touching the steel table here. It just has uh, four screws, one in each corner. Now this should pop right out of here. There we go. Alright, this capacitor here C103, if I look at the other side, I can see that capacitor, it connects this side of the circuits to this side of the circuits. It's like one leg's there, the other leg's there. And it's important to pay attention to which side has the negative stripe on it so you don't put it in backwards. If you look over here, there's a stripe on this side that goes minus, minus, minus. Okay, that means that is the minus side. So this is the minus side. That whatever the covering is on here melts with isopropyl. So don't use isopropyl on this side. Just uh, wipe it off, that's all. That's a solder sucker. So I'm just going to push that down and get it ready. And as I heat these legs up, I'm going to try to pull them out. There we go. Okay, there's that capacitor. A little volcano on this side right there where it blew out. Alright, next I need to open these holes up so I can put the new one in. It's the plus side labeled, so that's the longer leg. So the short leg is the minus side. I got my holes cleaned out with a toothpick and just poke it down into those holes. I'm going to let it stick up just a, a little bit here and I'm going to bend these legs out and let it stand up. Get it cleaned off there. Now all I have to do is solder those two back in and this one, this Vichy capacitor is supposed to be 3,000 hour capacitor, so 
And they should both be in there now. Now I just need to bend these two back up a little bit. Get my wire cutters in here and trim them off down as low as I can. Make sure I don't have any solder bridge across those two sides of the circuit. It's ready to put back together. We can try it out and see if it works. Now the big question on everybody's mind is, will it work? Only one way I have to find out is to put it in the car and try it. Alright, first I'm going to take the battery cable off here. Alright, I'm going to pull this little part out from under the steering wheel. And I'm going to take this uh, speaker cover off. Alright, now I have to take the speaker out. Lost you. On that one. The computer is right back here, and below the computer is the fuse box. It's attached to part of the same unit, so two size 10 bolts there. Right there is one, and right there. If I take those two out, then the whole computer unit will, with all the attachments, will come down. Okay, I got the two bolts out. Now I'm going to see if I can lower that computer down. Put it down under the dash where it's easier to work on. There we go. There's a little tab right here in the middle. If I squeeze down on that, squeeze down on that and wiggle them at the same time. Not super easy, but they come out. There we go. Computer is connected to this bracket with two Phillips screws in it. And my computer is free. So this computer is from a 1993 model. Uh, it works. But I don't know if the programming is exactly the same. The one I just fixed with the new capacitor, I think it's fixed, is from a same model as mine in 1995. Screw this computer onto this bracket. Everything else is connected to that bracket. Make it snug. Okay. Now, plug the computer back in. Just take these guys and push them in until they snap. That one snapped. Oh, there we go. Now it snapped. They both snapped. Clip right there. It has a little slot on it. Now, see if I can push it all back up in there. Screws back in, probably won't be able to see, but I'm just going to try to get them started with my finger. That one's nice and snug, they're both in. Taken in and taken out so many times. Now, this guy. Got Alright, and this guy snaps back up here. Okay, now I'll hook the battery back up and we'll see if this car will start. Alright, I'm going to try it out and see if this computer works. If it doesn't work, i got to put that old 93 one back in. Everything seems normal. I fired up. I got no lights. No check engine light. Seems perfect. Yippee-ki-yay!